So what we are going to do is find the area of this right trapezoid. And the first thing that we have to do is identify what the lengths are of the two bases. And after we find the length of those two bases, we have to add them together. Now, the two bases of any trapezoid are referred to as B sub 1 and B sub 2. And these two bases are the two sides of the trapezoid that are parallel to each other. So if those two bases were to keep extending into space, they would never intersect. And that is what makes those parallel. So we refer to those two bases as B sub 1 and B sub 2. And the first thing that we have to do is add those values together. Now, after we add those two values together, what we do is divide that total by 2. And after we take that total and divide by 2, we multiply by the height of the trapezoid, which is the distance that the two parallel lines are from each other. Okay, now let's figure out what the actual length is of B sub 1 and of B sub 2 so we can add those two values together. B sub 1 has a length of 8. Now, if you ever have a shape that is on top of a graph or a grid like this, make sure that you do not count the squares on the inside of the shape to count the length of the line. Because remember, the length of anything is one dimensional, so we actually do not want to use the square units to measure the length of the line. You have to treat the line as if it were a number line, and where you begin is at zero. So from here to here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the length of the bottom base is a distance of 8. Okay, now let's determine the length of the top base. The length of the top base is equal to 4. So we're going to go ahead and substitute b sub 2 with the number 4. Next, let's determine what the height of this trapezoid is. So from the bottom to the top, this side has a distance of 4. So let's go ahead and substitute h with a value of 4. All right. Now we have all of the values necessary to figure out what the area is of this right trapezoid. So the first thing that we're going to do is add these two bases together, and that gives us a total of 12. And we have to take that total and divide it by 2. And then we take that result and multiply by 4. And 12 divided by 2 is 6, and 6 times 4 is equal to 24. So the area of this right trapezoid is 24 square units. Now let's take a bit of a closer look at where our equation is actually derived from. Let's look at the first part of our equation. Now the reason that we take the two bases and add them together and divide by 2 is because we are really trying to find the average of those two bases. In fact, after adding those two bases and dividing by 2, the results you get, in this case 6, will tell you what value is right in the middle of the two bases. So 6 is right in the middle of 4 and 8. Now, what that is actually doing is it is forcing those two numbers to be 6. Well, why is it important that we find the middle of 4 and 8? Well, basically what we're doing is we're pretending that these two bases are the same length. For example, let's take this base of 4 here and extend it to be 2 longer, which would make 6. And then this base, which is 8, we're going to make it 2 shorter, so it is a length of 6 as well. And if we were to take this base and make it longer and this base and make it shorter to be the same length, 6 is right in the middle of those two values. And what happens is it forces this trapezoid to take on the form of a rectangle. And notice how this little piece of our trapezoid would fit perfectly into this piece right here. So by adding 8 and 4 and then dividing by 2, what we did is we effectively turned this trapezoid into a rectangle. So we're kind of pretending that this 8 is a 6 and this 4 right here is a 6. So what we really have is a rectangle that is a 4 by 6 rectangle, which is an area of 24 square units. So remember, when finding the area of any trapezoid, you have to take the two bases, add them together, and divide by 2, which is really finding the average length of those two bases. And then we take that result and multiply by the height of the trapezoid. 